was grown an episcopacy, so-called monarchic episcopacy, a bishop, an authoritarian bishop, who could establish the faith of the creed and establish the canon of the Bible and had uh, a say about everything. You are the Bishop of Leo. I am. My privilege to greet you. I am Narcissus, honored pupil of Valentinus. I am Irenaeus, pupil of Jesus Christ and of Polycarp, his servant, his witness. I wish to comprehend, to understand, why you are indifferent to the commands of your bishop and of the apostle. We revere with love the apostles, in particular Paul, blessed Paul, who had perfect gnosis of the Savior. Das, pupil of Paul. Yes, I have heard much of this claim. It is a claim to a secret teaching, is it not? After all, to be a Christian was to be a member of an illegal sect. One could be arrested and tortured and, and put to death either in public if one were not lucky enough to be a Roman citizen or simply beheaded if one had that good fortune. So the question when, when one belongs to a kind of persecuted movement like that is whether people are going to hold together when they're in danger. Were we all to become Gnostics, where would the church be? There could be no reliable witness before Caesar. One would say one thing and one another, and soon we would become all things to all men and not Christians. Why do you hold unauthorized assemblies? The church Why had reasons to be skeptical of the Gnostics. The Gnostics had abandoned the idea of the personal God of the Old Testament and had found within themselves the unknown God. And then they had the personal experience. We have discovered the truth of our freedom. Freedom which the Savior has given us. Freedom which we share with him. Why do you wish to enslave us again? No, Narcissus, I wish only to bring you to humility <laughs> and obedience to Christ, which is the very mark of a Christian. Humility. There is light within a man of light, and he lights up the whole world. If he does not shine, he is in darkness. So goes the Gospel of Thomas. Gospel of Thomas? There are only four Gospels. The whole church admits the four Gospels for very good reason. The four corners of the world. The four winds. The four covenants with the Lord. Only the Gnostics want more. Is there not enough for man's salvation in these? Personal religious experience was what mattered to them, whereas for the Catholic Church what, was matter, what mattered was obedience to the bishop. What are you so afraid of? Not of the Father, but the Demiurge, the Creator, who would make a husk out of the true Church, with rules for authorized assemblies and bishops who seek to destroy what they do not understand. Narcissus, the simplest man, understands Christ, but is baffled by Valentinus. The simple man is edified by love and understands humility. This is the true knowledge of the heart. Were you to continue, the church would collapse and this simple man would be denied the kingdom. Can you understand this? Narcissus, can you understand this? I understand. You fear the freedom of the gospel which you preach. How long, I wonder, before it is not your brethren who are persecuted, but my brethren who are persecuted by you. And you, Narcissus, do you believe in God? Or like your namesake, only in yourself?